Blessings and blessings. What's up, family? My name is Preston Smiles. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel and you're watching this on YouTube, please press the red subscribe button. If you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook, please just leave a comment, a like, or something just to get the ball rolling. Let's be interactive in this video. Now, today's transmission is a controversial one, and that is the gift of a porn addiction for men. The five ways to unhook yourself from the addiction, okay? Now, first and foremost, let me land what I mean by the gift. What I mean by the gift is, is the same emotional fortitude, the same work that it takes to unhook ourselves and outgrow a porn addiction is the same work that it takes to unhook and outgrow and step into what it means to be a conscious, integrated man. So anybody who is addicted to porn is actually in a really beautiful position because if you, when you outgrow, when you can see with the eye behind the eye what's really happening and be bigger than your uh, base desires and the senses and the addiction, you're actually outgrowing the same thing that would have you addicted to food, to shopping, to work, and to anything else that would have you believing that your worth was over there. This out there-ness, any addiction can be really tough. And I know that particularly with porn, people look at it and they're like, oh, you're just objectifying women. Why would you do that? Just stop. But if we really understood that what was happening in the brain chemistry and like, it's similar to like a heroin addiction in the sense of it's not that simple. It's not that easy per se. But for me, these are the five steps and five things that you can do to begin to outgrow and unhook yourself from the virus of the mind that has caught so many of us, starting from American Pie and all of these different movies and TV shows and things that have been injecting an idea into our space. And because most of us didn't have a mom or dad that sat us down and really taught us what it meant to be in our healthy sexuality. So um, tip way number one is come out of the shadows. You don't have to do this by yourself. In fact, you probably can't. We need each other. This is one of the reasons why myself and the founding fathers of Conscious Man Brotherhood created Man Cave, because we do 90 days of giving up a vice for the sake of something. And we do it in community, in brotherhood. We do it together as a tribe, as a family. And we all give something up, even the coaches, myself included, to prove to ourselves, to our higher selves, to the wounded ego that we are bigger than it. Way number two, bring an awareness to what's emotionally going on for you right before you feel the need to click on or go to or have that experience. So what's happening, right? Because awareness comes before choice. When we have an awareness of something, then we can make a choice about something. But if we don't and aren't aware of what's emotionally happening, right? This is why I teach emotional literacy and then emotional intelligence and then emotional fitness. These are three different distinctions. Right? So bringing an awareness, like what's happening? What am I experiencing? What was I just believing? Am I, am I experiencing sadness? Am I experiencing anxiety? Am I experiencing uh, anger? Am I, like what's here? And what had me want to go run and have that experience? Way number three, tip number three, is to masturbate without porn. If you, let's say, are having this experience, you know, two, three times a day, decide that twice it's gonna be without porn. And begin the process of 
learning how to be with your body and your sexuality and your sensuality without needing that external thing to be a part of it. Right? So you're just building a new muscle that says, oh, I'm okay without it. Way number four, and this one's near and dear to my heart, is whenever you do find yourself about to go down that rabbit hole, um, bring to mind for one minute straight a snippet of you as a little boy before porn. Think about him. Think about his innocence. Think about his, his joy. Think about his, his anger. Think about all of the things that he was without this vice, without this crutch, without this thing. And bring him to mind. And when, when you bring him to mind, just hug him. Love on him. See him as his best self. For me, um, when I do that, regardless of what I'm doing it for, it instantly drops me back in and grounds me and reminds me of the Preston before programming or before a lot of programming and life lifed me. Because I get it, it's tough guys. Not everybody, you know, is raised in these utopic situations where everything is perfect. In fact, that would suck and be a trauma in itself. All right, last way slash tip, and thank you if you've made it this far. Last way slash tip is to humanize by connecting the women and or men that you're watching on porn to someone else you know. So if it's women, allow yourself to really um, think about what she does after, before. Think about her dogs, think about her kids, think about her going to the grocery store. Because a lot of times what the brain can do in the, in the wiring is disassociate what we would call porn stars from humans. And the reality is, is that she has a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother, people who love her, people who care for her, an Instagram account, and a lot of other things, just like everybody else. And so bringing yourself back to the humanizing helps recognize and rewire the brain to what's really happening. I think that's it for now. Blessings and blessings. If any of you want to join Man Cave, go to PrestonSmiles.com forward slash Man Cave. We have another one coming up soon. This is one of the most beautiful things uh, that we offer. We also have a workshop called Unleash the Beast, which is absolutely nuts and amazing. Um, and we'll be in LA, Australia, and eventually all over the world. Thank you. I appreciate you. I see you. You're not alone. Let's get it.